Hold on, one minute, one minute. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Poor sana. So now a quick one, eh? Because uh-huh. I'm recording a podcast, eh? The, yeah. uh, the percentage of Kenyans earning over 100K per month, what was the actual, yes. like, nini start, percentage-wise? Uh, now it should have gone up. Gone up? But, uh, now it should have gone... I, uh, there was that article uh, some, some time ago when um, they stated that it had gone up. But initially, mm. it was... The number was, what, less than maybe like 200,000? Less than 200,000 people. Yeah, at some point. But that must have been like, what, a year or two ago. I think the number had actually gone up. Uh-huh. Can I check the number? No. Sour, sour. Okay, thanks, thanks. Uh, cheers. So that's less so, than 10%. Because Kenya, yeah. we have 50, or oh, about 50 million Kenyans, and that's 200,000. 200,000. Oh, my God. So that's... What's the percentage you're talking about? Less than 10? I, I think it's even like 30 Probably being like 8%, 8 percent there or, eight, <gasps> or even less. No, it's less. Probably it's 5%. Less. It's less than 10%. We, we might be talking about 5%. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 5% very less of now. Kenyans make over 100K. Yeah. And that's something that I've just been trying to even like just when I'm talking to people, I'm like, how don't you even understand how much people work, but they're still not getting to that? Exactly. And even by the time you get to that 100, I'm just talking if you're doing like a regular job where people, mm-hmm. you see people waking up in the morning and some are even in like suits mm-hmm. and everything. And don't even forget, like, let's say if you have a loan. Mm. Oh, dear. We need to talk about loans, Average by people the way. do take loans to like try and Substitute invest in something. Their- that's or, that's the ideal, but yeah. Kenyans actually take loans to sub, to survive. Like to survive. really, that is the sad reality. Like I have so many of my clients who have loans because you know you have to bridge the gap. You know, you start with salary advances, ah, you do it once, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it yeah, becomes yeah. a vicious cycle. You pay it, you have to take it again. You pay it, yeah. you have to take it again, hmm. just to survive to meet your obligations. Hello, Mike. Hello. So, yeah. Um, there's an article in Business Daily, uh-huh. but this one is uh, 2021, uh-huh. where the number of Kenyans earning more drops oh. to 79,000. That was that year. From 200,000 to 79,000? That was 79,000. Uh-huh. Then uh-huh. in 2022, uh-huh. according to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, uh-huh. the number went up again. So the number showed about 310,000. Okay. Uh, and hundred k. But if but let's say, is, it, but you know, yeah, that, but uh, you know, this is a matter of um, how can you say it? Mm. You know, this is declared income. Of course, you have guys earning more. Yeah, yeah. The declared income. But see, of course, like, we are uh, talking about uh, your av- average Kenyans, because of course we have those people who are doing two businesses and other things on the side. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But just meridian, ones. like just mm-hmm. gen- in general. Yeah, these ones are the ones on payroll. So, can, that can be so 300,000, that would make probably, if you're 50 million Kenyan, Kenyans, that's, that's right. around that's maybe. If you take the adults, mm-hmm. uh, if you take now 300, and if you take 300,000 of, uh, say, how many adults, approximate your adults to be even 20 million. Mm-hmm. So if you're taking 300,000 of uh, 20 million, you're looking at a percentage of what? A slightly less than 2%. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Less than 2%. That's, yeah. Yes, uh, okay, sir. So just thanks. Thanks for that update. Watch how we finish the episode, Kwanza. Uh, but I appreciate Thanks. Thanks a lot, bro. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Less exactly. than 2% of exactly. Kenyans make more than 100,000. Kenya shillings. Exactly. Salary. Population of 50 million people. Okay. Yes. So he said, assuming how many are adults? 20 million. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's wild. It's a sad reality, honestly, yeah. guys. That's oh. wild. So I think, you know, and as much as that's why, like, we're always talking about, like, just lifestyle inflation. When you see people, mm-hmm. like, online, like, taking trips, mm-hmm. uh, doing, like, every other weekend, like, splurging and everything. 
Listen, don't believe anything that you see in social media. That is true. Like things on the ground are completely, completely different. Exactly. You could see somebody with money, but like, you know, there are a few lucky ones who can get to like, you know, get away with a lot of things. Because mm-hmm. like we've said, other people who can do like side gigs on the mm-hmm. side, getting paid in dollars. Yeah. But it's not a big portion of people. True. And there's also the extreme on the upper side as yeah. well. The same way like there are... There's a small percentage of people making a hundred thousand. There's a very small percentage making abnormally huge oh, yeah. incomes as well in Kenya. And they are the ones inflating people's perception of, of reality. reality. So what kind of jobs are we talking about though? Like businessmen, they would assume like, you know, businessmen. Come on. But those we can't that's a, a very small percentage as well. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, that's what yeah. I mean. Okay. Very small, but less than 2% probably, but yeah. they make a... I mean, the Maseratis we see on the roads, the yeah. Porsches we see on the roads, they, yeah. they exist. They, Somebody owns them. They do, but I think I was also having this conversation mm-hmm. with, like, uh, some girls the other day, and uh-huh. I was just asking them, like, you know, like, you know, what, what's your dream car? And, you know, somebody said, like, you know, uh, a G-Wagon, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, but not not my guests who say they want a G-Wagon. I'm talking about other people here, right? <laughs> so, and I was just talking in, in general, and I was asking them, like, okay, how many people do you know, like, who have a G-Wagon, like, that you know in person? They said no one. And then they said, like, how many people, like, even, like, let's say your dad, mm-hmm. that maybe he knows that have or own a G-Wagon. Okay, let's go to friends of you. Of, of friends. your dad <laughs> and his friends. How many of their friends own G-Wagons? Yeah. Say like none. And I was like, yeah, just understand like as much as you see it on the road, mm-hmm. it's a very, very small percentage of, In, that's true. of people who have that. Mm-hmm. It's not It's not like you can't just, especially like in Kenya, mm-hmm. maybe abroad, yes. Yeah. In Europe, I was just like, ah, oh, come on. Yeah. This one is there. I'm seeing this. But on the Kenyan roads, those are very few people. So That's true. just try and stay in touch with reality. Reality, yes. <laughs> before you get lost in that sauce, by the way, right? That's true. That is true. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Even, so, I, I mean, but even in Europe, I think Europe It's also very, not. It's not that yeah, prominent. It's, it's not that Euro- much. Europeans have this thing for like equality. They yeah. don't, they don't, they're not braggy. Even the ones with a lot of money. Not you, unless you go to Monaco. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, but Monaco bit. is Monaco. Yeah, but I think even for my case, when I just did like my first Euro trip, mm-hmm. and it was like just the lifestyle that people actually live, very super mm-hmm. well budgeted. Exactly. Some Kenyans, trust me, there's some people with 50k salary in Kenya who spend way more than people that I saw like in Europe. Really? Because people are having sandwiches like just oh, on yes. park benches. Oh yes. People are using bikes. Oh, everywhere. Uh, <laughs> everywhere, walking. Mm-hmm. Let's just go to like typical middle class Kenyans. Do you know how much people spend on Ubers in Kenya? No way. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know a lot of people who are broke, but they're always using Ubers. In fact, I'm like, yo, you need to cut down on your transportation. Transport. Just true. cut it down. because That is true. I drive, but with my car, I think I can spend probably... Less than seven Gs in a month. What? Yeah. And the way so many people... Okay, guys, can you listen to this? Yeah. And there are many people castigate my budget. It's no, possible. I, I You spend less than seven. Less, exactly. See? Yeah. It's possible. But on an average Kenyan, like on a weekend, like if people, how many people will you be going on bars and they're mm-hmm. dropped like with just your cabs and everything? Mm-hmm. That's like a thousand or fifteen hundred, like maybe one way. Mm-hmm. And then another way back home, like... Another fifteen hundred, a thousand. Literally, I know people are broke, but they just never want to be in my tattoos. And that's you need to choose like your struggles. Yes. If you're trying to plan for the future. Just lower your pride. And I think it's the thing that we've said: lifestyle. What's the word you used? Lifestyle creep or lifestyle inflation? <laughs> lifestyle creep and inflation. Listen, don't don't admire to be chauffeured because it's more expensive than somebody who's driving. Honestly. That is. Ask true. anyone who's driving; it's way much cheaper. And I don't know one thing. I mean, the other thing about life in Kenya. I don't know why, or rather not even in Kenya, in Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why people don't embrace carpooling. Like, the, there's so yeah. many cars on the road, guys. Can we, like, True. normalize carpooling? True. If you're going in the same, especially the people, like, who yeah. work in town and you live, like, maybe in the same flat. Mm. Unless maybe somebody is going to have an evening event or, mo- but most times you go to the office and No Kenyans are carpooling. 
Mm-hmm. No Kenyans are car pulling. Nope. You're, you're pulling up, I don't know, in, a, in apartment block, you're pulling up like five, ten cars going in the same direction. Same direction. That's How why there's traffic that? everywhere. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. So I think Uber is one of the things where like a lot of middle class people just waste their money on. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, but Twitch is on. Do whatever yeah. you want with your money. But if you're trying to like get to like some financial freedom, which mm. is what we'll get back to, I think you really have to cut down on some of the things that if you're still energetic and young, mm-hmm. you It's true. Yeah. It's true. And actually on, on that one, I'd like to add, I, I, I'm not a prop, like full advocate of always pushing to tell people, okay, remove this from your budget or remove... Because sometimes you feel like, okay, so... I mean, if I wish, like, I'm just supposed to suffer. No, mm-hmm. that's not what we're saying. But like he said, you choose your battles. You can't... Of course, you can't have everything at, at once at the beginning. But until you do, maybe choose one luxury to hold on to and then the rest you sacrifice for the moment until you're able to afford, you know, the life that you, you want, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, we're not saying, you know... Suffer your way through until you are rich. No, I know. Me, I'm telling you, suffer. Me, I'm not saying suffer. I'm telling you, know what I'm (laughs) saying. saying. But you know why? For me, have one thing that makes you happy. I know, I know. But why would say suffer a bit? It's because now you'll appreciate more once you start getting money. Yes, that is. You'll know exactly where to put. Because I'm always telling people, even at times like maybe I'm in a situation where I have to like settle a bill or anything. I'll be like, yo, I'm comfortable doing this because mm-hmm. I know there's something coming in in that two two weeks or a week. I know it's coming. That's true. And this is like probably passive. I don't mm-hmm. have to work for it because mm-hmm. I set something up. But now you can't be doing that if you haven't set something up. Correct. That's what I'm saying now. Okay. Okay. Suffer. From that point suffer. of view then, <laughs> you, get what I'm you saying? better suffer. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> yes, suffer. a question here, like some of the questions that I had. Mm-hmm. 